my starlight kit just arrived and I'm super excited to set it up and do a speed test to compare it to my regular internet. But first, let's talk about why it's a game changer. We're on the cusp of a new internet revolution that involves satellites and a race to provide super fast internet to every inch of the world. 40% of the population doesn't have internet access. If billions of people come online, the World Wide Web will look like a very different place. Ordinarily, to access the internet in remote villages, you need cellular towers hours connected by copper cables, and the costs of these are astronomical. Satellite internet already exists, but it's dominated by a handful of players that have huge satellites way up in space, their services are expensive, and connections have big lags because of how far above the Earth the satellites live. Now, many companies are racing to launch constellations of what are called low Earth orbit satellites that are much smaller and much closer to Earth. It's expected that these connections will be way faster, the cost Costs will be lower and service will be available everywhere. You could be in a jungle in South America and, and if you had just an internet link somehow you could you'd have access to all of humanity's information. Starlink says that their service will be available even in the poorest locations. The improvements to education and medical services for these communities would be incredible. And the whole nature of the internet would be changed completely if three billion more people were suddenly able to come online for the first time. More than a dozen companies have applied for permission to operate constellations of satellites and provide this kind of internet service. Amazon has a project called Project Kuiper, but they have yet to finish their satellite's design and begin launching. OneWeb is another major player, but they were just bailed out of bankruptcy caused by COVID and are now 45% owned by the British government. I have doubts that this government entanglement will enable them to move as fast as their competitors. But they just released a new fleet of OneWeb internet satellites last night, so they're definitely moving. Meanwhile, SpaceX is leaving competitors in the dust. So far, they have over a thousand satellites in orbit and are already offering consumer services in beta. I love that about Elon Musk. He gets things done. It's their service they'll be testing out today. Let's see what's in the box. Users get this pizza sized dish. It clicks easily into a stand. You plug it straight into the wall and into a router, and voila, high speed internet. The router itself is pretty cool looking too. If a Cybertruck were reincarnated as a router, it would probably look like this. All this equipment was $500. By comparison, my current modem and router together cost $260, so Starlink equipment is around double the cost. If you know how to use a drill, then there are no installation costs. You put the disk outside, screw it down, plug it into a power outlet, and you're done. By comparison, to have my old internet professionally installed cost me close to $100. Now you should place the dish somewhere with a completely open sky. Any overhanging trees, chimneys, or roofs will give you connectivity issues. I bought a pole to make sure that the disc was high enough to be out of range of obstacles, which cost $30. You may be looking at extra installation costs to get the cords inside, but if you're handy with a drill, then it shouldn't be a problem. The service itself is $99 a month, which is just more than I was paying before at $89.99. So given that I am paying slightly more for the Starlink, am I getting more? There's probably a low bar there. I have always been plagued with bad internet wherever I live. Weak connections that drop out in the middle of interviews, but I've had no choice but to use certain internet providers because they were usually the only ones who offered service to wherever I lived. And they had no real incentive to provide good service to me because they had no competition. So what I'm super excited about is finally having a choice, comparing services and saying, I'll choose the better one, thanks. So let's see if the SpaceX service is actually better. A speed test on my phone comparing the Wi-Fi connection of my old internet and the Starlink connection showed that my old internet got 20 megabits per second download to upload. And Starlink got 107 megabits per second download and 12 upload. Wowzers. That's 5x download speed and 6x upload speed. This is an incredible difference. Now, 100 megabits is not as good as the 1 giga connections that my San Francisco friends brag about, but it's way better than what I had. And SpaceX says that once they have all their satellites deployed and they're aiming for around 30,000, it will dramatically improve data speed and latency even more. So the verdict, 
Starlink could be the internet solution rural households are desperately in need of and also bring internet to 3 billion people for the first time. It could change the face of remote work opportunities as people continue to move out of large cities. And SpaceX said that they'll eventually be offering portable satellites too. So you might be able to strap one to an RV or a sailing boat and work on the go. It's also really nice to see increasing competition in the internet service provider space, providing higher speeds than previously available. Starlink is currently only available on a first come, first served basis, and there are only about 10,000 people using Starlink internet in the US and abroad. It's still in beta and there are bound to be connectivity issues until all the satellites are deployed and while they readjust. So I'll monitor how it goes and I'll keep you posted. I'll also see how the satellite holds up in strong wind and snow. But but so far, I am super happy with the purchase. Thank you SpaceX for dreaming big and providing cool tools.